have never seen crack smoke so casually before. <laughs> These niggas was sitting in front of Starbucks smoking crack and drinking coffee. I said, this is off the hook. Talking about politics. I seen one crackhead trying to break into somebody's car, man, and it struck a chord with me. I tried to stop him. I said, hey! And he looked back and saw me and said, oh, keep an eye out. I said, nigga, that was me that said that. I'm not trying to help you. I want this shit to stop. <laughs> Crackheads are like that. I had a crackhead break my car window one time. Broke it! You know what he stole? Fucking candy bar I had lying on the seat. That's all he took. It's a goddamn candy bar. I was so mad. I drove around the neighborhood for five hours looking for a crackhead with chocolate on his face. I, I did that. I finally found when I grabbed that motherfucker and said, Hey, man, what's all this chocolate on your face, motherfucker? He looked confused. Chocolate? This is doo doo, baby. I said, Ah! Oh, man. place is insane. But you know what I like about San Fran and the reason I picked this city to do my special is because it's, of all the major cities in America, somehow people get along here better than anywhere else I've seen in the country. That's right. That's right. And I always admired San Fran for that. And today I've realized how you did it put all the niggas on the other side of that bridge. <laughs> There's nothing, this shit ain't happening on that side. <laughs> you leave San Francisco like, bye, thanks for coming to San Francisco. Come back in April, we're having a sale on Birkenstocks. As soon as you get to the other side, welcome to Oakland, bitch. <laughs> Quick. fucking crazy, but it, it also would feel like it's an East Coast city in the West Coast. You guys got subways and shit. I'm scared of public transportation. I was on a bus that was held hostage 45 minutes. It wasn't life threatening. I don't want to give you that impression. It was a dude jerking off, but the shit was scary, son. It was scary. It was right before it happened, I was on the bus smoking a cigarette. It's a long story. That's not the coolest shit I ever did. And people freaked out. <laughs> sir! <laughs> sir, put that goddamn cigarette out, okay? This is everybody's air, sir. I flicked it. I didn't want any trouble. And just at that moment, coincidentally, this homeless dude, just out of nowhere, pulls his dick out. Started beating off. And I was furious. Because nobody said shit to this guy. They were just looking like... <laughs> I was the only one on the bus that had the balls to say anything to him. And it's not even like I was brave, really. It was that, you know, I was sitting next to the motherfucker. I had to say something. <laughs> Come on, dog, you hit my elbows. Stop. <laughs> Son, stop. That's all I said. I was, I didn't want to say too much. Guys beating off on the bus means there's something wrong with this motherfucker. He, he's not wrapped so tight. I didn't want to push him over the edge. As soon as I said something, all these dummies on the bus, now they're brave. <sighs> he's right. <laughs> Put your goddamn cock away. I don't want to see this anymore. I don't want to see it either. Yeah! Now the guy flips out. All right, everybody, back up. Back the fuck up. I tried to be nice about this. Now everybody freaks out. Oh my God, it's a biological attack. Oh. I'm caught in the middle. I can't lose my cool. I said, hey, everybody, just calm the fuck down or you're going to get me shot. Let's all just be cool. Let's do what this man says so he'll leave us alone. Now everybody gets quiet. is better. <laughs> and then he started walking up and down the aisles. It was terrorizing us. <sighs> and 
And then he starts making demands. You in the pink shirt. Squeeze her tits together. Oh, oh God, no, no. You, stick your finger in your butt. Why? Oh, God, why is this happening? Oh, God, oh, God. He was working my way. Shit was tight. Just that minute. I got saved, dudes. I was so lucky. This guy at the other end of the bus, he snapped. He lost his mind. I seen it happen. Ah! He screamed out, rush him. He can't come on all of us and charge him out. And it was like a movie. This homeless dude seen him coming. The shot went off. Ah! <laughs> I dodged that shit like the Matrix. Niggas, oh. <laughs> the guy behind me wasn't so lucky, y'all. No! <laughs> that shit was gross. It didn't kill him, but it was, I'm sure that fucked his day up. You're not gonna have a normal day if a homeless dude busts a nun on your forehead and 8.30 in the morning, that's a wrap on the rest of the day. Ah! This guy was freaking out. It burns! Oh! 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 Everyone was standing around looking at him. Even the homeless dude felt bad. I guess he was finished, he came back to his senses. Oh, this is my stop. I said, relax, motherfucker. I had to say something, relax. Oh, I can't, I got AIDS, I know it. I said, you can't get AIDS from a homeless dude busting a knot on your forehead, that's not how it spreads. I don't even know if that's just true, that's just what I told him, man. The, he was so scared, I had to say something. I don't know where AIDS comes from, who the fuck knows? Scientists don't even know. Scientists still say AIDS started because somebody had sex with a monkey. Word. <laughs> After all this research, this is the best explanation that you came up with, mother. Nobody fucks monkeys and people, you idiot. You either fuck monkeys or you fuck people. That's it. There's no in between. You're not gonna get some monkey pussy on Tuesday and then be like, well, let me call Charlene on Thursday. No. Once you fuck a monkey, that's a firm decision. I'm out of the human pussy game for good. <laughs>